the authority to reject an article mm -hmm. if he considers that it's... But we, he could put a disclaimer. Uh, it's not... not wow. Well, but that's why we have an editor that is the, that is the president. If any, and oh, if anybody says they heard something, don't publish. Creating reasons as it goes. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, <laughs> I, 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 that's some, I was tasting my credit tea. where credit is due. You know? <laughs> well, but that's, that should not be done. But it turns out that there are a whole lot of other benefits that we didn't realize. Uh, we have, we use AutoCAD. We have AutoCAD at all of our sites. Plot of the drawing on the Hewlett Packard plotter there behind you and have it. With, to the shop within an hour or two. So if there's a, an, an urgency to make something quick, we can it right away. And get, if there are any problems with it, or, and that's what can kind of work out of here for all other sites. Um, another thing that I'll mention while Don's getting ready here is all right. the thing that we can do a what if. And one of the things you'll see in the machine shop, we're, we're building some new feature in a, in a self would weigh, what, 600 pounds. And we just need things. And so Don has been working on that for quite a while. What I started to say, though, that he can do with this is what if? A waveguide system here, and uh, this was, once you once you do one of these, the rest of them are relatively simple and, and fairly straightforward. But, uh, for example, in this case, as you see, the, the doer is offset by a, a given amount off the center line, and this one being on the center line. And uh, uh, this is a simple command on the computer just to shift this thing and the dimensions are, are varied as well and uh for, see roger norris says that's a no-no you're not yeah, moving my door yeah see we <laughs> this was an i this happened to be an ideal situation for like 250 to 700 or so and that's where the low frequency people mount and the feet are, are you know, this is a refrigerator we'll go into cryogenics and take another look this gentleman here used to work on these systems refrigerator now, the unique thing about this box is that the real one has a traffic feed to let the system run this way. And we're down to the ball here. So this is the cryo box plus receiver yeah. section. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Cryo box. Yeah. 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 Construction and fabrication is always concerned. One of the things that's done in this area here primarily is to assemble front ends and it's close to a completed system here, which will go on one of the 10 antennas and the antennas will uh, uh, have its own, every unit will be complete, have its own refrigerator control circuitry, the door itself, like that, that's pre-manufactured and you machined extrusion without any welding, which is what this is. This has welding, but this doesn't have any welding at all. Then fit the info things into and put the knobs on from outside. The same sort of business. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> it's nice knowing it. <laughs> Cold here, yeah. see So you're not looking forward to the breakthroughs then, is that what you uh, said? Parts that you may have, if you've been to the telescope, you may have seen some of these things. They've seen the about three different types of compressors laid out here. And that, of course, you have to have basic building off of this up to the front end of the telescope where our cold receivers are located. Much is around 500 feet on the 300 foot telescope and about 425 on the 140 foot. So we had quite an amount of lines between this unit and the cold unit. And the, the, uh, uh, these people need to the, uh, 15 degree stage is where now, or is the 15 degree play that's in a region is kind of buried. Yeah, I want to show you. Um, they use the uh, thermocouple principle. If you pump current through them in one direction, one side gives off heat and the other side is cold. Um, and if you reverse the current, you can, you can do just the opposite. <coughs> and you control the amplitude, then you've got yourself a, an automatic heater. Cootie here will pardon me. Good, he had a little problem with his hand last week in the back. He's been off of work for several days. Uh, the floppy disk is a lot better to handle, a lot more dependable. So we 
talk back and forth between this controller and your IBM computer. Uh, you may post the name of this type of person that told me the other day, I thought we were through with him and said, well, we want 37 more. <laughs> we will probably be making them add on, but it's really good. We have a type of range of frequency. Now, we do a lot of square ones. We do some for the VLA. Now they're in this type. This is the area of doers right now. Uh, typically, aluminum is too far. So and this will get right on up to this size here. And we'll stack these up. Then we'll fiberglass one of these. We'll probably epoxy each one of these rings in, then we'll fiberglass over the outside to give it a little more structure. Uh, this is a L band for the VLBA, but this one's very similar. What's the idea of the rings, though? I guess that's what that one is. Why would have the. Uh, and uh, it shook up the whole radio astronomy community, and the fact that it was seven years old. Uh, he found about for using data that had been used by the U.S. Naval Observatory for their timing. Uh, and, they, you know, after they finished with that, they just sent it over to NRL and they could have it and use it for whatever they wanted. They got very interested in that and requested and received six months of 300-foot telescope full-time, which is absolutely unheard of. No one gets a 300-foot telescope for six months. But they did, and they looked at a